Mali tunasimama sasa, nilikuta mama melala. Alikuwa amepigwa risasi ya kichwa, macho ikamomoa kichwa yote. Yangu aliuliwa na wakora waangamia wakiwa na lisha huu wa wangu wa mpoma. Kwa sababu mkisema nilete buduki, nitapatia nani? Sijui mwizi, sijui nini? Kuna watu binafsi, watu specific ambao wanafanya haya majambo katika jamii. In October 2022, Jeremiah Mberithi, a middle-aged mason and a father of four from Meru County, was fending for his family in the bordering Samburu County. He received a disturbing call from his neighbors back at home. His wife, Ruth Kagweria, was normal. Hapa ni kwangu kwa mboma langu, mahali bibi yangu aliuliwa atare 22 mwezi wa kumi na wakora wangamia wakua na lisha huu wa wangu wa mboma. Dakika kama second tano niliona huyo mtoto aliniangukia. Nikaona kama amestuka kwa sababu siku sikusikia mlio wa bunduki. Na mimi nikalala kwa hiyo miiva. Sasa ila nilipunduka hivi nikamchika nikazika kitu kama maji kwa sababu kulikuwa na kisha. Ndamu ndamu kwa sababu kwa sababu kulikuwa na kisha si kuona na nimestuka. Kufika hapa nikakuta mahali tunasimama sasa nilikuta mama amelala. Alikuwa amepigwa risasi ya kichwa macho ikamomoa kicho yote e, na alikuwa amelala hapa kwa ngeti yake na alikuwa amepigiwa pande ya ndani According to the neighbors whatever transpired that night was nothing new they had become used to armed camaraders invading their farms and letting their herds devour whatever they find both agricultural produce and any pasture they would find on their way leaving a wave of destruction in their wake. Hii area si ingressing area ni machamba wenyewe tunaomba kiindiki ya force title this. Tupate title this sa, tuko na namba tayari. Sasa tuna tuna force you to force your title this sikuje mtu amiliki chamba yake e, ili tujue mbanola watu wakukuje ikiwa binafsi mtu anakuja analeta ngamia u uh, sijui ni nini unalishiwa ngombe sinalishwa kama imbomo unaona hapa na hii hapa ndiyo ngamia walikuwa wame zingira hii mamboma hizi yote. Pamoya na ingine hizi mboma zote walikuwa ime zingira. Alavu wameweka kwa, kama kwa wangu nimbele hapa kindogo. Wakati tulikuwa tunakuya tu, wanaanza kubika tizitizazi hapa. Kila mtu tu anarundi. We gather that the reason the camel holders pounce on these milk bushes is that they are good fodder for their camels due to their succulent nature even in dry seasons. On the flip side, the milk bushes are ideal fencing plants because they are able to remain green even in dry weather, thereby concealing most of the homesteads and whatever is within. Tungamia inaguyanga usiku kutoka kutoka alamisi, ikaguya alamisi, ikagula, ikaguya njuma, ikagula, zaza hiyo njuma mosi, diyo waliguya na vita. Paka walilala hata wakati waliyo hiyo mama walilala hapa mpaka wazibuji saatiza ndiyo walienda. Jeremiah tells us his young family became the latest victim of the Kamo Harders invasion at Kandebene area in Tigania West, Mir County, an area that also borders Isiolo County. He has been rendered a widower for just having fenced around his homestead. When Jeremiah planted this milk bush fence, he intended it to be a protector of his homestead. Unfortunately, it has turned out to be the fence of death. Hatuna security hata kidogo tumeadhirika sasa hivi tuombe serikali iangalie hapo sasa hivi sana sana hii yetu ya Kandebene hii Rwanda yote mpaka Isiolo mpaka kupanda hivi sisi tumeangamia sana au watu waangamia wameua watu wengi sana si hapa peke yake The death of Jeremiah's wife brought the number of those killed in similar circumstances to 15 within the Tigania West area As Jeremiah stares at his wife's gravesite the burden of bringing up their children alone visibly overwhelms him Tunasema hiyo pengo hakuna bila inaweza funga labda Mungu mwenyewe ndio anaweza mwapo na anipangie venye kutaweza fanyika hapo He is unsure of what the future heralds for him and his young family Naitwa Pastor Stephen Kamente Mugambi na mimi ni pastor wa familia hii huyu mzee 
aliadhirika mpaka akakosa nguvu kwa hivyo kila wakati tunakaa tukimtembelea na kuombea na kupa advice ili apate kupata nguvu tena ile kulingana vile tumepanga kimaisha pengo ile ameacha ni pengo kubwa sababu mimi unajua kawaida ya mwanamume bibi ako na jukumu la kumshughulikia kama bwana wake watoto pia hiyo pengo ameacha hiyo siwi kule kunaweza fanyika kazi zile anafanya hapa nyumbani ni mingi na usaini si waina mingi sana kama mtu akiwa na bibi yake kwa hivyo hiyo ni pengo kubwa sana hata siwezi nikahesabu hiyo hesabu ihesabike saindi maisha yamebadilika sana juu huu maisha sasa bila ningeenda kufanya kazi mali mimi nafanya kazi siwezi enda ni kwa hapa nyumbani full time Siwe benye nitasimamia watoto kimasomo, siwe benye nitaweza kufanya ni niweze kuendeleza. The daughter has just completed high school and now at such a tender age assumes her late mother's role of helping her father to take care of her younger siblings. She's the one now taking care of the homestead, a role she wasn't prepared for. The posing danger notwithstanding in case of another attack. Na hii maneno ile hapa ni venye nilikuwa shule mimi sikuwa nyumbani pila nilikuwa nangojea exam i think nilikuwa 3 weeks to once the exam nikasikia mama ame ameaga dot ka tukaitwa nyumbani pamoja na my brother na sister ni nasoma nikifika nyumbani nilikuwa nilikuwa nimeaffectiwa na hiyo maneno ka nikasikia ni kama siwezi endelea tena juu mama alikuwa anasaidia sana wewe ndiye unasaidia dad kulea watoto walio nyuma yako yeah i'm the first one nafanya vibarua tu za kutafuta ili niweze kusaidiana na babangu watoto waendelee she tells us she desires to go back to college despite the challenges they are experiencing na pia mimi mwenyewe ningetaka kuendelea ili nijisaidie kivyangu ni course gani hiyo ambayo ungetaka kufanya kwa kwa sababu yenye nilikuwa nataka ku achieve sitaifikia sasa inaweza fanya hata tourism and management Kadebene residents here they say that the camos could either be belonging to some influential people around who frustrate the victims fight for justice they also claim that help from the authorities come very late when the damage is already done From that day we have always lived in fear. We do not sleep. We are always thinking they would come back, especially now that we have crops in the shamba. Even without the camels, we fear they might come back to attack us. Sana sana wakati wa usiku isipokuwa ni vile sisi watu wanaamini Mungu. Unajua hata kutoka hapa nje usiku kutoka hiyo siku unatoka unaangalia unaona kama huyo mtu wako hapa karibu ama opponent wako wamesingira hivyo sasa kuna shida sana ndio unasikia tukiitiza usaidizi wa national government na hii serikali ya county sana sana huyo kidhure kidiki kama kuna vile tunaweza pata ni kuongezewa security fund hii eh mambo yamekuwa na hata sasa eh Aisha hata sasa hii ngamia wako chini huku na ninasikia wako na vitisho ati hata wenye wamebaki wataweza kuwa awaya malisa tutaweza sasa kuendelea na maneno mengine hii ambayo ni ngumu hii imekuwa ngumu hii ya kikoti mm. imesindikana na imefunikiwa mm. tuomba Mungu tu iweze kufunguliwa ndio tujue mahali tuelekea mm. ndio sasa kama umeona sasa wengine wanachukua kama hii maneno ni rahisi wakati umefanya maneno kama hii mm. mtu amethikwa wengine wanachukua advantage mm. wanaona kama juu mimi ni mtu ambaye sina uwezo mm. wa kifedha wala nini wanaona hiyo maneno itafunikwa na iishe hivyo lakini sasa mimi naomba sana saindiwe ndio tuone venye tutafuata tulikuwa tunapiga simu kila mahali lakini azikare as wind walifika hapa kitu kama saa 12 mm -hmm. eh hey. Sasa tunaomba yu bwanake apate usaidizi na apate haki kwa national government kwa county wote apate haki sababu hiki kesi yake haina ufuatilio sababu inafuatilio inakaa kama ina kuna kitu inaficha ficho hapa na hatujui nini nitasaidika sasa tunataka asaidiwe na apate haki The authorities seem to be having a hard time convincing the irate residents The solution to regulate the movement of camels in between the counties will this help taweka mpaka wa ngamia kwa barabara itokayo isiolo ikienda garbatula tutaki blanket condemnation kuna watu binafsi watu specific 
ambao wanafanya haya majambo katika jamii. Tunataka jamii nayo pia iwakane. Wakae peke yako peke yao washughulikiwe. Now they are asking the Interior and National Administration Cabinet Secretary, Professor Kithure Kindiki, to consider the area a security threat and come to their aid before yet another family or families are affected. Ila wakati tu tunalala kwa vichaka, tukizigia maneno kisauti kama hiyo tu tunayanda kunjipisa kwa machaka tunaja mambo mazetu, bando hiko na mabi kuna bitu hiko ndani lakini tunakimbilia usalama, tunayanda tu kunjipisa. I want to emphasize that we need help. We see CS Kindiki in TV and hear him in radios. He is in charge of security. Let him come here. We want to see him. Because so many people have been killed, we have conflicts with the wildlife, like now we have elephants roaming around. We are still struggling with the issue of camels. Please, Mr. Kindiki, you need to come and help us so that we have security in our homes. We don't want to keep living in fear. We even go out to tend for our farms in fear. We want to emphasize on this issue of security because we don't sleep in peace. Police reserve. There is a way to do it. See, Hapa, Kuja Mukae, the County Security Intelligence Committee. Muambie munataka nini. Kwa sababu mkisema nirete kuduki, nitapatia nani. Sijui mwizi, sijui nini. These people must be vetted. Na wakiwa vetted, arafu tunaandikiwa. Ile buduki, security committee, diyo itasema ni buduki gani sinaitajika. Na ni nani na nani atapatua. Na sitakuwa sinasimamishwa na nani. Area zingine zimeaza kurudishiwa. Lakini hamuja rudishiwa kwa sababu hamuja uriza. Ikekua siko hapa, ningesikia na muna gani. Lakini saa hii wale tuko nao hawakui karibu na sisi ni wa huko chini. Hata siku hiyo tulipikia hawa simu na hawakukuja kwa sababu ni watu wawi na bunduki na hawa wakora wako na bunduki mingi na ni hile automatic. Sasa tunaomba ya serikali Mr. Kidiki tuongesee sababu wako wale wako ni kama mmoja wale wawili wako isi karibu isi yolo. Na hapa hii area ni mmoja. Jeremiah's life changed with a single bullet in the wrong hands that took out his wife. Some of the projects they had started like this house has since stalled as he tries to find some direction living as a widower. Wale watu walifanya manda, waliachiliwa, watu hivyo nyo waliachiliwa. Their main question being, until when will the Kamahadas realize that farmers produce and homes also matter? King Oriwangeshi for Tuku Special Reports.